Many passages in the Quran directly and indirectly exhort Muslims to commit acts of violence. The Quran says, and slay them wherever you find them and expel them from where they expelled you. Persecution is more grievous than slaughter. But fight them not by the holy mosque until they should fight you there, and then if they fight you, slay them. Such is the recompense of unbelievers. But if they give over, surely Allah is all forgiving, all compassionate. Fight them till there is no persecution and the religion is Allah's. Then if they give over, there shall be no enmity save for evildoers. The Quran also mandates the killing of those who become Muslims, but then leave the faith. The Quran says, they wish that you should disbelieve as they disbelieve, and then you would be equal. Therefore, take not to yourselves friends of them until they emigrate in the way of Allah, that is, until they join the Muslims. Then, if they turn their backs, take them and slay them wherever you find them. Take not to yourselves any one of them as friend or helper. The fighting that the Quran commands must continue until the entire world is under the rule of Islam. The Quran says, fight them till there is no persecution and the religion is Allah's entirely. Then if they give over, surely Allah sees the things they do. The Quran even tells Muslims to strike terror into the hearts of the enemies of Allah. Make ready for them, it says, whatever force and strings of horses you can to strike terror into the hearts of the enemy of Allah and your enemy, and others besides them that you don't know, Allah knows them. And whatever you expend in the way of Allah shall be repaid you in full. You will not be wronged. Three times in the Quran, Allah tells believers to kill them wherever you find them. The most famous of these is the verse of the sword, for which Osama bin Laden praised Allah in one of his communiques. It goes like this. Then when the sacred months are drawn away, Slay the idolaters wherever you find them, and take them and confine them, and lie in wait for them at every place of ambush. But if they repent and perform the prayer and pay the alms, then let them go their way. Allah is all forgiving, all compassionate. Repent, pay the alms, all that means, in other words, if they convert to Islam, don't kill them. The Quran also commands Muslims to fight against the people of the book, that is primarily Jews and Christians, and subjugate them under the rule of Islamic law. It says, fight those who do not believe in Allah in the last day and do not forbid what Allah and his messenger have forbidden. Such men as practice not the religion of truth, that is, of course, Islam, being of those who have been given the book, that is, the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians, until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. The Quran also provides a justification for suicide bombing when it promises paradise to those who kill and are killed. It says, Allah has bought from the believers their lives and their possessions, and for them is the gift of paradise. They fight in the way of Allah, they kill and are killed. Finally, the Quran tells Muslims to behead unbelievers and make a wide slaughter among them. It says, when you meet the unbelievers, strike their necks. Then when you have made wide slaughter among them, tie fast the bonds, then set them free, either by grace or ransom until the war lays down its loads. So that's three verses about slaying polytheists and apostates and idolaters wherever they are found, one about beating disobedient women, two about beheading, two mandating amputation as punishment. All this is in the Quran and more. However, Muslim spokesmen in the West explain these away as applying only to the seventh century or under strict circumstances, etc., etc. The problem is, with so many jihad terror groups around the world and with Sharia regimes being so oppressive, it's hard to see how all this can be reconciled with the claim that Islam is a religion of peace. For more information about this, see this website.